All right, from now on, we're just going to be coding. But first, what we need to do together is download PostgreSQL. So if you are on a Mac, the easiest way to download Postgres is simply by going to google.com and then search for Postgres and then app. So for Windows, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to download this in a second. But if you're on a Mac, let's go ahead and download Postgres app. And then right here. So if I scroll down, you can see that they've got, you know, some um, ways on, on how to connect depending on, on, a, on a language that you you use. But essentially what we need to do is go to downloads. And what we're going to do is right here, you see that they have additional releases. So right here, they have the Postgres 9.5, 9.6, 10 and 11. So pretty much if you download this additional releases version right here, it means that you can spin up all of these databases with these three or actually four versions. If you download the very first one, you can only spin up a database with Postgres 11. So go ahead and download the additional releases. Just give it a second. So that's done now. Click on it. Then I'm going to drag this into applications. So just let me drag that and use my password. There we go. There we go. That's done. So I'm going to close this. Now go to Finder and then Applications. And you should see Postgres right here. So what I'm going to do is simply click on it. Close that. And also let me eject this. So I'm going to eject that. So open. And there you go. So you can see that we have a uh, Postgres 11 right here. So if you click on this button right here, you can expand that. And basically, if you click on the plus button right here, you can see that you can pick from all these four versions that we downloaded. So this is what I was saying that you can pick from these versions right here. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And basically, I'm going to be using Postgres 11 as I speak. Uh, but, you know, everything that we're going to cover in this course will work with the previous versions of Postgres. So now the only thing left to do is simply to start your server if it's not up and running. So I'm going to stop that. And actually, you can see right here. So you can start the server. There we go. It's running. And basically, right here, you can see that you have... Uh, the same um, settings. So you can click on, on this elephant icon right here and you can stop and you can also start your server from here. This is it. So now you have Postgres 11 up and running in your machine. If you had any issues getting this far, please drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video.